to partner with NASA to bring you this special discussion today. Before we start, let's take a look at what things looked like 40 years ago this very day. Take a look. This trial run would duplicate as closely as possible all the expected conditions for Apollo 11, everything short of landing. Uh, we copy that. They would get closer to the moon than any prior mission, within eight nautical miles of the surface of the moon. This is really a rugged planet. With Young in the command module, Stafford and Cernan studied and photographed the moon from the lunar module and they surveyed the probable landing site for Apollo 11 in the Sea of Tranquility. On May 26, 1969, the crew returned home having successfully paved the way for Apollo 11's plan to finally set a man on the moon. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please help me to greet and uh, I know that you'll very much enjoy hearing the stories of astronaut Gene Cernan here with us. Today. Thank you. Gene. Thank you. It's great to be with you. Appreciate being here. Thank you. Thank you. Who was that kid on it in that picture? I never saw him before in my life. <laughs> Gene made the very uh, interesting observation backstage <clears throat> that he and I should not get too close together on this screen because the audience would get snow blind. By the time <laughs> nice. You know, I think the really important thing, before we do anything else, Jane, uh, this, we're talking about now, obviously, the 18th of May in 1969. And before we talk about the very important event that you're going to tell us about, would you set the scene for us? What was America like? What was going on in this country in May of 1969? You know, being born, in, as you and I were, in 1934, puts us in, the, I guess, the... Uh, the super category of elderly citizens. And I look around, I have a chance to talk to a lot of young folks, young folks like we have out here in this audience. Uh, and with very few exceptions, wherever I go, I realize we have a whole generation of 30-sums and now 40-year-olds who were not born when Neil Armstrong made the first steps on the moon, or at best were in diapers 